<laughs> You're such a good builder. Hey, good morning, Wanding Crew. <laughs> Noah, don't mess with him, please. He's already in a mood. Good morning, guys. Today is someone's evaluation for school. Are you gonna stay here and be be a good boy for daddy? Do you wanna come say hi? So today is Lux's big appointment. It's for the school, it's for the pre-K to see if he qualifies for the developmentally delayed class. So we kind of start that process today and it is starting rough. Thank you, honey. I've got to get gas. My headband, because my hairs are so crazy, does not <laughs> match at all, but it's the best I could do because the other way looks ridiculous. So we're just gonna go with it. And Lex is in a mood, and he usually wakes up in a great mood. So, you know, this is just, this is gonna be a great day. <laughs> Come on, Lex. Let's go. Okay. There you go. Did you find toys? Yeah. He's still kind of waking up. You're gonna do so good. Yeah. I'm building a wall. You're building a wall? Yeah. Big, big brick wall. Yeah. You're such a good builder. Okay, I was trying to help. Help me. Help you? After all that, you wanted me to help you. Good job. Now let's do it that way. Uh, I help. You said he thought Lex was the cutest thing ever. I know, baby, we're gonna stop and get you something to drink. So when we left, he goes, thank you, helping me. It was so cute. We are done two hours later. And so basically going in, because Lux already has a diagnosis of autism, they could either go the developmentally delayed route or the autism route on the school level. And if you don't know, having an autism diagnosis doesn't mean you necessarily have an autism classification in, on an IEP in the school. It's, it's confusing and complicated, and I've heard like contradictory information about this. I opted for the developmentally delayed because the autism part is way more comprehensive. It takes way longer. I don't think he's going to qualify on a school level. A lot of the issues that we worry about with Lex is like social, things like that. And and the end result wasn't gonna be the same. He wouldn't be in a different classroom. He'd be in the same classroom regardless of what the outcome was. So for time and just for what I thought made more sense, I chose the developmentally delayed. They agreed with me. They also did speech and language evaluation. She was only gonna do a language evaluation, but after hearing him speak, apparently he's really behind on that too. So she wanted to go ahead and do a speech evaluation. She said once he starts school, if he qualifies, after a couple months, if they're noticing something like sensory or OT needing, um, that they can recommend occupational therapy. But for now, they're kind of leaving that off. So that's what we did today. It'll be a while before we hear from them. They'll have to do the report and then we'll have an eligibility meeting. For anyone that doesn't know how it works, we are doing this through the state of Florida. We live in Florida and how Florida works is up until the age of three, you're in early steps. That's what my one-year-old Liam is in. But once they're three, child fine takes over and it works in coordination with the public school system. So that's kind of what we're here. We were here for an evaluation. They were really impressed with a lot of things he was doing. I was impressed. He did a great job. Developmentally, he is behind in some areas, but other areas he's really advanced on. I'm curious to see what the results say and to just kind of see where he's at. If he does have an IEP, that will be carried over no matter where we live. So I'm glad we kind of got this out of the way. Lex is thirsty. I am hungry. We're going to go grab something and then just kind of go home. Liam has early steps today at five. So I want to go home, edit, just do, do my stuff that I missed from having to take off for this. How's your day been without mommy? Have you been playing with Liam? All right. So it's time to pop on live stream right quick. Hi. 
Where are you going? Where are you going with those forks? Sir? Liam? Liam? Be careful around Sissy. Did it fall out? Did it fall out? There you go, princess. There we go. What's going on, Lex? Oh, door. What? Daddy locked the door? No, no. Did he put a lock on the door? He locked the presents? Show me. You want him to show me? Yeah. Is it upstairs? Yeah. What is this? A magic door. It's a magic door? Liam's like, this is the life. So I've been promising Lux the park all day, so I decided to, the weather is getting so nice too. So that is, that's what we are going to do today. Let Lux play a little bit. What are you doing? Help me. Help you do what? Help me, and do this. Help me. Right here. Help me, guys. Come on. There you go, Lex. We did an Instagram post. If you don't follow us on Instagram, you should. But look at this cute little guy right here. He's so adorable. It's like a different is here. It's kind of like Elf on the Shelf, but it's for a reindeer, and it's to show that being different is okay for Christmas. If you guys want to see Lex playing with it, definitely check out our Instagram story. There. I what? I see you too. I see it. Two of them on top? Oh, well, I know. I see the bottom ones. And then I see that one. You like that? Come back here. Come back here. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. I got it. I decided to go ahead and open this box. There's other mail we'll open tomorrow's vlog, but I figured we can go ahead and see what is inside here. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Savannah, thank you so much. She sent us sippy cups. Oh, thank you, Savannah. This was so sweet and thoughtful. I love this. She even gave us a little bath bomb. A Lego, oh my goodness, this is so cute. A shark. She also gave us some cool little books. And guys, if you ever notice me shaking on film when I'm showing something, I actually have what is called a non-essential trimmer, I think it is, and basically it just means I shake for no medical reason. But look at these books, more sippies. Oh, PJ mask. Lex is gonna love this. Little chewy things inside for it. It's foam ball and candy inside. Oh, so it's not actually a cup, it's a, it's a candy thing, okay. Oh, this is so cute. They're gonna have so much fun with that. What a cute Dr. Seuss shirt, look at that. And it's the perfect size for Lex, so thank you. And then we've got a lunch box, so when Lex starts taking his lunches, he has a little box. We got some cozy socks. I think Danielle can wear those, maybe. I've never seen one of these before, they're so cute. Dory, Peppa the Pig. Oh, this is so cool. It's a Minecraft Hot Wheels. I've never seen one of these before. Little cute mechanical pencils. Danielle will love that. This is like a box of everything. Elmo. And then we have some baby wipes. Can never do bad with those. Oh, oh, I missed them. I missed them. I missed them. Dory goggles. The kids are gonna love that this summer when we go swimming. Thank you, Savannah, so much. This was so thoughtful. So thank you so, so much. So what happened was I fell asleep last night. I've been trying to get into a better routine. I was so tired with everything that happened and I just crashed. I didn't even do a live stream like I was supposed to. So this is me closing out the vlog. I have no idea how much footage I got. We are really excited to get results back from Lex's school evaluation. We should have those results in probably about a month, but we won't have the actual meeting until January. So we're hoping he'll start school at the end of January. So I appreciate you guys coming along with us and watching. If you are new to our landing crew, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and we will see you guys tomorrow where you move make me blind you will always be there there's no doubt in my mind
You will always be the heading out to see ya and leave the rest behind.